would too. I would too. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth, and no grass of the field had sprouted. For the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil, but a stream was welling up out of the earth and was watering all the surface of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God then took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord God gave man this order. You are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you shall surely, you are surely soon doomed to die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord my soul. O oh, bless, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. O oh, oh, bless, bless the, the Lord, Lord, my soul. All creatures look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. O oh, bless, oh, bless the, the Lord, Lord, my, my soul. soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. O oh, bless Lord, the Lord, Lord, my soul.
Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, or to Mark, excuse me. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come from come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile the gospel of the Lord. Our first reading today recounts the part of the creation story and how God breathes into clay and thus forms life. And we pray, of course, um, that God will breathe new life into us all of the time. In fact, our psalm today says... Uh, send forth your spirit and when you send forth your spirit they are created and you renew the face of the earth and of course we have that psalm at at our confirmation masses because the church looks with great hope and great love uh, on these the young people to be confirmed and the church knows in her wisdom that that these young people uh if they are truly open to receiving and truly receive and put into to practice or, or to play the spirit that they receive, that they will renew the face of the earth. The Holy Spirit will renew the face of the earth through them more precisely. And uh, when, when, when we receive that breath of God, uh, then that we're filled with that Holy Spirit and we can renew the face of the earth in our own little corner of the planet. And that's what our hope is and our goal is. Of course, there's other things inside of us that sometimes can uh, mitigate the spirit. uh, Certainly, uh, we have a list of them here. Evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. These sorts of things uh, can sometimes make their home within the human heart. And when they do then they stifle God's spirit that he wants to breathe into us. And then we are less able uh, to be good renewers of the face of the earth. And so we certainly pray in gratitude for the Holy Spirit's role in our life. We pray to the Holy Spirit daily that he might fill us with his power and that through his power working in and through us, that he might renew the face of the earth, the face of the church, and save the whole world for heaven. Let's stand for our prayers. We pray for Pope Francis that God will guide and protect him as he accompanies God's people with the gospel. We pray to the Lord. For those who are suffering in any way, especially those struggling to survive, fleeing violence, searching for food, those that the Spirit will give them strength and open the hearts of others to help them. We pray to the Lord. For all in healthcare ministry that God will work through them to bring healing and strength to all who seek their help. We pray to the Lord. 
for members of Congress that God will guide their deliberations on all matters, on the budget, immigration, life, help them to develop policies that honor the dignity of every life. We pray to the Lord for a rapid and effective distribution of the COVID vaccines, that God will guide those distributing the administering the vaccines and bring an end to this pandemic swiftly and completely. We pray to the Lord. And for the intentions of the living for those who have died, in this Mass we remember especially Ed Zobel. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God, we place before you these and all our prayers. In your love, we ask you to answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May the main of the body, Lord, of the Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us and receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be the same to remain. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will come to him and reveal myself to him. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ. God bless you always, Reese. The body of Christ. What is past our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart. 
that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of blessed Scholastica, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be safe going home. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is entered. Thanks be to God.